This is Esko from the blog fiddlery.blogspot.com. This is the latter of the two videos about uh, shooting road cycling with action cameras. In the first video I described the setup, planning the shooting and uh, how to attach cameras and so forth. So click uh, the link on the upper right hand corner if you want to watch that part first. On that video, I promised to shoot the race that I was about to take part in that very same evening. So here is the local cup race in Luukki, Espoo, southern Finland. This is a satellite image. Uh, it's a screenshot about the start and finish area. On the bike, there were two GoPros. Hero 7 Black in the front and Hero 5 Session under the saddle. Before the race, I left my iPhone on a small Gorilla board next to the start-finish line in order to have a different view on the start and the finish of the race. In addition to these three, I had two action cameras in the first crossing of the roads. The idea was to get a nice transition from one camera footage to another when riders arrive and lead that spot. Unfortunately, I messed with one of the cameras and didn't use the other one either in the final video. As a cycling computer I use Garmin Edge 520. That gives me all the data needed to add an extra layer on the video. First thing to do is to edit the video and the data layer will be attached to it after that. I use Apple MacBook Pro and as a MacBook user I naturally use iMovie for editing. That's easy and it doesn't cost a penny. Surely on PC side there are plenty of different kinds of options. But whatever your software, take care that the timing of the video clip stays accurate. Otherwise synchronizing Garmin data is not possible. There are only few options for combining cycling computer data to your video. I recommend using Garmin Verb Edit. That's a free software both for uh, Apple and PC users. You don't need a Garmin computer brand any video or any GPX data from, from any computer will do. It's also possible to edit the video on Common Verb, but I don't like it. So for me it suffices to use that software only for the G metrics feature, see on the left hand side. And sorry for this Finnish user interface. But all the features are there in your own language as well, in the same places. First, you import GMetrix and locate the right GPX file on your Garmin or whatever. Then you synchronize video and the GPX data as you see here. You can use the uh, ready made uh, sets to show data or like me I have manually arranged those here in below the image and on the right hand side. And finally you export you see upper right hand corner in finished via and so uh, you will start rendering and this takes time. To save time I changed these 60 frames per second to 30 frames per second and uh, still rendering first video and then data layer took 8 hours. But the final outcome is nice and gorgeous. An mp4 to be uploaded to YouTube or similar and then to be shared, embedded etc. to all your friends to enjoy or to learn your weaknesses for the next race. Thanks for watching, 
subscribe and visit my blog at fillari.blogspot.com. Bye. Wow.